In this video, we're going to learn about implementing entities, relationships, and attributes in a database. In the logical design phase, each of the entities becomes an independent table and each attribute becomes a column. Then the table and columns are reviewed and revised in subsequent logical design steps. Primary keys should be unique and not null, stable meaning they do not change in value, simple such as you know being something being easy to enter and use, and meaningless should not store any kind of sensitive or descriptive data because that may change. It's best to try to use single column primary ID but if none exists, then you can use a composite primary ID, which is made up of two or more columns. A better alternative is to create a single column artificial key, such as ID, and having a unique numbered identifier, such as 001, 002, 003, and so on. And these are usually generated automatically by the database and auto-incremented when a new row is inserted, which makes them easier to deal with. A subtype entity becomes a subtype table and its primary key is the foreign key to the supertype's primary key. And a foreign key implements the is our relationship, the dependency relationship. And foreign keys that implement the dependency relationship usually have the following referential integrity actions, cascade on primary key, update and delete. A dependent entity becomes a dependent table. The primary key is typically composite, which includes a foreign key that references the master table primary key. And if there's not a suitable column when creating the composite primary key, you can create and use an artificial column. Implement relationships means converting relationships into tables or keys based on relationship cardinality. Your one-to-one -one cardinality relationship becomes a foreign key, which can go to the table on either side of the relationship either the ones or the M side. The foreign key is typically put in the table at, with fewer rows. Your one-to-one -one cardinality relationship becomes a foreign key which can go in the table on either side of a relationship. The foreign key is typically put in the table with the fewer rows in order to minimize the number of null values. The foreign key refers to the primary key of the opposite side of the relationship. Your M1 or many to one or one to many cardinality relationships become a foreign key on the many side, referring to the table on the one side. And your many to many relationships become a new table that contains two foreign keys, referring to the primary keys of each related table. Attributes can be singular or, or plural. Each entity instance has at most one singular attribute instance or can have many plural attribute instances. Singular attributes stay in the same table while plural attributes move to a new table. The new table's primary key should be a composite key made up of the plural attributes of, and the foreign key, which references the initial table. Name the new table with the initial table's name, followed by the name of the attribute. Also, attributes can be unique, which have a maximum cardinality of one. They can be not null, which have a minimum cardinality of one and it can be primary keys which can have a minimum and maximum cardinality of one. And if no keyword is specified, then it has a minimum cardinality of zero and null values are allowed.